I'm Holly Drocky with the Town of Pecos City Parks and Recreation Department, and I will be reading today from the Marvel comic storybook, Rocket Science. This place stinks, Rocket shouted. After a very long journey, the Guardians of the Galaxy had finally arrived on a stage planet called Blorf. They were there to pick up a package for one of their clients. The heroes looked out of their eerie landscape from the spaceship, the Milano. Star-Lord was excited for a new adventure, but Gamora was already anxious to leave. Let's get what we came for here for and be gone, she said. Drax nodded his head in agreement. Rocket sniffed the air around him. Not only is this planet a dump, but so is our spaceship, he said grumpily. It needs a good scrub. Good thinking, Rocket. Star-Lord said, why don't you stay behind and clean it up? A big grin appeared on Groot's face. He loved Star-Lord's idea. I am Groot. While Groot was excited, Rocket did not like Star-Lord's idea one bit. But I wanted to come with you guys, he yelped. No buts, said Star-Lord. Somebody needs to do it. You should stay inside while we're gone. You never know what creatures might be lurking around. Drax smirked at Rocket as Rocket continued to whine. We'll be back soon, tiny rodent. Rocket hated being left behind to do the team's dirty work. Star-Lord has got a lot of nerve telling me what to do, Rocket grumbled. Did everyone bang their heads and forget I'm a genius? Groot put his hand on Rocket's shoulder, hoping to calm him down. I am Groot, he said softly. Suddenly, Rocket had a bright idea. Groot, old buddy, you and I are going to find a way to make this place sparkle without having to lift a finger. Rocket said, how does that sound? Groot wasn't sure what to say. He just shrugged. There's an old cleaning bot we can use to do all the work. It's in my box of special science stuff. He hauled out a giant crate filled with hundreds of gadgets and began to rummage through it. Crash, boom, slam. Group ducked for cover as Rocket tossed his gizmos in every direction. Here's my old laser pointer. And that's my Cree chemistry set and smoothie maker. Oh, look, a miniaturized thermotron collider. I wondered where that went, Rocket said as he continued to dig deeper into the box. One of these days, I need to have a cosmic yard cell. Soon, the Milano was covered in more junk than before. Here we go, come to Papa, Rocket explained, reaching into the box. He held a clunky contraception in the air like a trophy. It's my old changing ray. My old size changing ray. Let's see if I can get this thing working. He pressed a few buttons. Shazak! Suddenly a purple laser blasted from the size changing ray and hit Groot right in the belly, causing him to grow bigger. I am Groot, he asked. Ugh, the settings must be off. Let me try it again. The size-changing ray fired once more. Shazak! This time it made Groot enormous. I am Groot, he explained. Rocket was flustered. He desperately tried to fix the broken device. This should do the trick, Rocket said. The size-changing ray fired once more. Shazak! With that... Groot returned to his normal size.
Rocket, set aside the size-changing ray. Come on, let's find that cleaning bot and get this show on the road. As Rocket looked through the box of science stuff, Groot opened a storage locker to find the cleaning bot staring back at him. I am Groot, he explained. Well, what do you know, Rocket said. Let's do this. Rocket explained. He turned a knob on the back of the bot, and a jumble of mechanical arms appeared out of nowhere. Uh-oh. The bot started screeching, malfunction, malfunction. Instead of cleaning the Milano, the bot began smashing everything to bits. Almost all of Rocket's science stuff had quickly been turned into scrap metal. Before Rocket could corral the crazy robot, it opened the Milano's door all by itself and went outside. Oh, no, you don't, Rocket said. I am Groot. <clears throat> On the surface of Blorf, the cleaning bot's commotion attracted a group of funny-looking pig-like aliens called the Kodobax. Snorting in excitement, the Kodobax picked up a giant net, thinking they could take the bot home as a pet. That's a lot of Kodobax. Rocket wasn't sure what to do, but luckily Groot had a suggestion. I am Groot, he explained. Well, that's a great idea. Thanks, buddy, said Rocket. He grabbed his size-changing ray and aimed it at the Coda Bucks. You feeling lucky, pigs? I know I am. Shazak! Rocket blasted the beast with the purple energy, shrinking them down. Take that, he said with a smirk. And they all shrunk down. This is my last chance to save the day. I've got to act fast, Rocket said. With a tool in hand, he jumped onto the bot's back. In an instant, it was fixed. Watch this. The cleaning box swept the tiny coda box up in the dustbin without a second thought. Then the bot raced into the Milano as quick as lightning. Look at it go, Rocket shouted. In a matter of minutes, the cleaning bot washed the entire ship top to bottom. It even took the trash and recycled the metal waste. At last, Rocket could breathe. Would you look at that, he shouted, clean as a whistle. I am Groot said Groot. When Star-Lord, Gamora, and Drax returned from their mission, they were impressed by how everything was clean and how everything looked nice. Nice work, Rocket, Star-Lord said. The Milano looks great. Rocket grinned. I can't take all the credit, he said, picking up Groot. After all, I did have a little help. The End <laughs>